Bones at CVS. So, hope you enjoy. A friend of mine, um, he just got a job at CVS. And the other day he called me. He's like, hey, I just got a job at CVS. I was wondering, what is the thing that you hated the most about working at CVS? And it was absolutely hands down the phones. Oh my gosh. The telephones at CVS do not stop ringing. Hell, I mean, if if one pharmacy call was a drinking game, shit. You'd be passed out drunk the first 30 minutes of every shift. Man, those phones ring so much. Like when they train you on the phones, they train you how to put people on hold first. They don't even teach you how to answer the phone. I remember my first week, the phones just kept ringing and ringing. I was like, hey man, how do you answer the phone? They were like, you just hit RX pickup and hold. I'm like, well, what if I actually want to answer the phone and talk to the customer? They're like, we ain't got time for that. We don't do that here. Oh, those phones. The best way I can describe the phones at CVS is like, if you were working a telethon and there was like 10 phones and the other nine people called off and you're the only person there to answer the phone. Hi, thanks for calling, please hold. Hi, thanks for calling, please hold. Hi, thanks for calling, please hold. I, I'm, I truly believe that the phones at CV, CVS are only there for two reasons. One, to give the customers the false sense of reality that those phones are actually there for us to answer. Um, and two, um, they're just there to break you down mentally. Those phones do nothing but just break you down. Every time it tells you how many phone calls you got waiting on hold, oh, you can't even think. I'll be, I'll be trying to do something simple like calculate a day supply. I'll be reading the instructions. Okay, they take 12 units for breakfast, 16 units at lunch. You have two pharmacy calls. Oh, God, it's fine. Okay. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, yeah, they're taking uh, 12 units for breakfast, 16 units for lunch, four pharmacy calls. Oh, shit. Oh, somebody, the phone. I can't. <laughs> you can't even do basic math. I'm no war expert, but if I was a uh, general in the army and uh, we had a prisoner of war, I think uh, a good type of torture was just to put a person in a room with one of them CBS phones. <laughs> they go crazy. Those phones, man. I think the uh, those phones, they gave me PTSD. Pharmacy telephone stress disorder. I, I suffer from that PTSD. Pharmacy telephone stress disorder. I think the biggest problem with the phones at CVS is that they actually tell you how many calls you are waiting. You know, like to me, they need to get rid of that. Cause when I hear one pharmacy call, answering the phone is actually on my agenda. You know. Like if I'm at drive through and I hear one pharmacy call, I'm like, okay, first I'm going to take care of these eight cars and drive through. Then I'm going to go help those six people at Pico who've been staring at me like a zoo animal. Then I'm going to go to the drop-off and help those four people who probably want flu shots. Then I'm going to answer the phone. You know, it may take me 30 minutes to an hour to get there, but at least it's on my agenda. Where I'm in drive through and I hear, Six pharmacy calls. I'm just like, man, fuck that phone. <laughs> I ain't getting them calls. Six calls, please. It's just gone. <laughs> that phone. I feel bad for the customers, man. I remember one time I was at work. My technician, it, she just disappeared. She just didn't come back. She gave up. I was working on weekend when we only have one tech. And it's just me working back there. And seven people showed up for flu shots four people had appointments the other three just showed up 
So I work about myself. So I'm like, look, I'm going to register all of you. I'm going to give everybody their flu shots at once. Back to back to back to back. So the phone is just ringing off the hook. I register everybody for flu shots. I'm walking out there to get to give a flu shot. I noticed that the gloves that they have out there are small. So I went back to go get some extra large gloves. As I'm walking back, the lady's like, excuse me, are you the pharmacist? I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, why the hell aren't you answering your phone? I've been on hold for 20 minutes. I said, ma'am, I have seven people that all showed up at once for flu shots. I had to register them for flu shots and now I'm about to give them. I just didn't have time to answer the phone. She said, well, what the hell? What the hell was your other employees doing? I said, other employees? I ain't got no other employees. She's like, you the only person working? I'm like, look around. So she starts looking. She doesn't see anybody. She's like, well, if you got to give all those flu shots, how the hell are you supposed to answer the phone? I said, exactly. That's why I don't answer the phone. <laughs> she got mad talking about, I, well, I'm going to call... I'm going to call Walmart have all my prescriptions transferred. <laughs> I said, good luck with that because I can't answer the phone. Hey, y'all, that's a bit I've been working on. I'm still working on it. Um, it's a bit about the phones at CVS. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Next year, I'm planning on the No Prescription Needed Comedy Tour. So when this pandemic's over, start doing more shows. You better come out. <laughs>